What's up, park hoppers? Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're back in Knox for the newest event. Halloween. Halloween, so let's come celebrate. And so our first stop is at Sutter's and I got the pastrami tater tots. They're topped with hot pastrami, diced garlic pickle, and a cheese sauce that's all over these delicious things, drizzled with boysenberry mustard. So let's go ahead and get a bite with a little bit of everything. These are really good. That boysenberry mustard. I'm not a mustard fan, as you know from before, but this boysenberry mustard is really good. And these, I'm such a pickle lover, so these garlic pickles, they're delicious. You add some pastrami in there. This is my jam. What did you get, Nick? I decided to start with the open faced Reuben sandwich. And so, what that has is pastrami, uh, sauerkraut, uh, Russian dressing and then it also has um, the rye bread underneath. I'm not a giant uh, sauerkraut fan but I'm gonna try it with everything on it. So I was hoping you could pick this up. The bread is, it sounds crunchy on the outsides uh, but it is a little too soft to pick up so take a nice bite here. Okay, so the bread isn't soggy. It's just too soft to pick up. The outside crust of it is nice and crunchy. The rye bread's pretty good. The pastrami is really good. Even with the sauerkraut, I like it. It gives it a nice flavor. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but it has Swiss cheese as well. And that just kind of, you get that nice Swiss cheese taste to end it up with. I really like this. I'd probably give this again. Brought treats. Yay! I love treats. Me too. What treats did you get? The caramel apple cheesecake. Dang, that looks delicious. And this Dang. Is a pumpkin bun. Look at that, guys. Next up, we headed over to Sutter's Funnel Cake, and I got the caramel apple cheesecake trifle. So this is, I guess, a British dessert is what a trifle is. It's basically a spongy cake with fruit and custard. Um, I'm not super educated. I Googled that because I wasn't sure what it was. Um, but this looks super good, so I'm hoping it'll be really good. Lots of good flavors in here. Okay, so it is really sweet, of course, but oh my god, it's so good. The flavors are amazing. It's got like your normal like apple pie, like apple filling, but you get like the custard, the whipped cream, the caramel sauce, crushed. It looks like maybe like some graham cracker might be in here. Is that graham cracker that's on top? Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell if it was graham cracker or cinnamon. <laughs> no, it's graham cracker. This is so good. I don't think there'll be any left for you to try it because I'm just gonna you know. All right, so now it's my turn and hopefully I don't get to share this with Nick because I haven't got any of that apple cheesecake yet. So this right here is the Ghoulish Pumpkin Bun. It is a deep fried cinnamon roll with pumpkin icing and sprinkles. Definitely nice and warm and definitely need a fork and knife. Like this icing is all over the place. That's how warm this bun is. It's messy, guys. I got some now. It's good. There's not much pumpkin taste though. I mean, it's literally just a cinnamon roll. Come on. Let's get some of this just icing with the sprinkles. I'm surprised Nick didn't choose this one because it has sprinkles. No, even the icing just tastes like icing. There's nothing pumpkin about it at all. I'm a little sad. I still eat it though because I like cinnamon rolls. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? I'm a good witch. Oh, good. <laughs> good. I've uh, met my fair share of bad witches. Oh, I bet. Teddy agrees too. Are 
Are you guys having fun? Yeah, we are. What have you done so far? Uh, we tried a couple of different foods. We walked around, seen What'd everything. What um, The Pastrami. Ruby sandwich. Oh. oh, was it yummy? It was good, yeah. See, I have to take your word for it. We can't try it ourselves, being dead and all. It just goes right through us. <laughs> Um, a meatball sandwich. Meatball sandwich. See, now you guys are just making me jealous. <laughs> meatball sandwich. Will you enjoy that? Come back and tell me how it is, okay? We will. Thank we will. You. Thank you. Of course. Have a spectacular time. Thank you. Bye. And no hexing people. Next up, we hit up Fireman's Barbecue, and I got the spicy sausage with a bacon onion jam. And I did add a little ketchup and mustard just in case. Uh, looking forward to trying this. So far, they've all been pretty good. It is on a hoagie roll which is nice and soft and fire toasted, which is awesome. All right, this is pretty good. They're not joking when they say it's spicy though. If you don't like spicy, stay away from this. It is, it's pretty hot. Be trying to get at me, but it's really good. But it's got some kick like instantly. All right, the bacon onion jam is really good on it. I like it a lot, but man, I'm gonna have to buy something to drink because this is fire. <laughs> it's cool they have the characters walking around. Yeah, it is. We came all the way over here by Wilderness Broiler and we got the uh, meatball slider and it came with some waffle. They're calling them chips, but of course they're fries. And so the meatball slider is on like a uh, Hawaiian roll, nice and soft, with some provolone cheese and uh, marinara. It's just one meatball on there, so it's gonna be a little awkward to eat, but I'm gonna uh, try my best here. That is really good. The meatball is really flavorful. Nice amount of like uh, Italian seasoning in it. It is really good. Marinara is good. The um, Hawaiian roll gives that nice sweetness. I really like this. Let's try some of these chips. They're not like the crunchiest chips I've ever seen. Um, they were putting a fresh batch in when uh, they gave me these, so maybe the next batch would be crispier, but. Mm. You know, I don't think I, I think they're probably sweet potato, which would make sense why they're orange and why they're not the crispiest, but. You know, I don't normally like sweet potato uh, fries, but these are actually really good. Yeah, I like it. All right, so my mouth is still on fire from that hot sausage hoagie that we had over at Fireman's Barbecue. So we, when we came down here to Wilderness Broiler, they had this blood orange lemonade, and I am a sucker for like anything blood orange. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try. It looks super good, smells nice and strong like That is pretty good. What I like is sometimes you get that lemonade and it's it's so sweet, it like makes you pucker. You get that sour feeling. You're not getting that with this. You get like the blood orange hint is like nice and subtle. And um, the flavor of the lemonade is really good. It's not overly sweet, but it's like sweet enough. And I wish they had this when we were here last time and it was like 107. Uh, today the weather is much nicer, but it's still gonna enjoy this. You having fun so far? I am. All right, so we just hung out in the relaxation area for a little bit. We did. We kept our masks on there. I think you're able to take them off though. I don't know if you're able to take them off like right when you first enter. I know it's back more that you can. Oh, okay. Because everybody that I saw had their masks on still, except yeah. for one person. Yeah. yeah. We decided to keep bars on. We did like a quick time lapse of like the waterfall and stuff. Just yeah. hang out. We're getting pretty full, so we figured it'd be good to take a little break. Yep. Where are we headed next to the boardwalk? I believe so. All right, let's go to the boardwalk. Let's go. They have the grass area all set up, all nice. All decorated for Halloween. Looks pretty awesome. What do you think? I think it's all cute. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give this cheeseburger mac and cheese a try. We got it at the Charleston booth right across from the pumpkin filled water fountain that I absolutely love. It does have a panko toppings, and I believe it said there's bacon in here too, so I'm super excited for anything with bacon. Mm. 
It tastes like a cheeseburger. It really tastes like a cheeseburger. I definitely like this. Mm, I like this a lot. This is definitely a must if you come. Give it a try. I decided to try the sausage and chicken jambalaya. So we came, I think it was Taste of Knots. They had a shrimp jambalaya and I loved it. I think it was like one of my favorite things. Was it Taste of Knots? Um, yeah, no, it wasn't Taste of Knots because Nina joined us. Oh, that's right. It was the first trip. Uh, that was really good. Uh, one thing I complained about that time though, or had like a little, like I was a little sad about it, was I got like one piece of sausage. And, and this time, um, I got plenty, so it should be good. Um, the pits, the, ch the pits, the pieces, if I can speak, I'm so excited for this. Um, the pieces of chicken are really big though, like. Those are some big like chunks. That's a big chunk to eat in my jambalaya, but um, let's see if I can, I'll just, I'll eat around it for now. So I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. That's pretty good. It's got some good flavor. You get the the peppers, the sausage, the chicken, the little green chilies. This is really good. It's got like a real subtle heat. I wouldn't call it spicy, but I'm sure the longer you eat it, the spicier it'll get. But it's really subtle. All right, now we're over at Coaster's Diner and we got the creepy cheeseburger slider. And um, I think it has like a barbecue sauce on it, uh, like a lot of barbecue sauce on it. And it said it comes with an onion ring. It's so a little baby one. It's a little baby onion ring, bite size. Uh, but we'll give it a try. It smells good, but it's a lot of barbecue sauce. I tasted the barbecue sauce. I wasn't that big of a fan of it. Uh, it tastes, so without tasting the rest of the burger, the barbecue sauce by itself, it has a little spice to it. So you're right, it does have yeah. a little spice. But it tastes like it's out of the jar. Like it doesn't, doesn't taste great, to be honest. With the rest of the burger, it's not bad. I wish the onion ring was crispy. Mine's like soggy, probably because it was sitting in like a ton of sauce. I don't think I'd recommend this. I think I would skip this. There's stuff that's better that you could get. So, I miss you guys. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Um, I got the frozen bloody lemon slime margarita. So, it's a little bit of a tongue twister for me, but I'm looking forward to this. It's very frozen. Mm. That's good. It's like a, a cherry flavor. It's like a cherry margarita. You can see the lemonade right in there, but it is really good. What is up everybody? This is Patrick from Destination Vacation Network. I got the vegetarian slider here at the Coaster Diner uh, here at Knott's uh, Halloween with the fries. I don't need the fries with that. Uh, but it does come with the vegetarian patty, a pretzel bun, and uh, I guess this is a slaw of some type? I'm not sure, guys. But uh, bottoms up. That's pretty good. That is... If you're into vegetarian food, this is a very good burger. Very good. I approve. All right, guys, so we are now at that Boardwalk Barbecue, and I have the Burnt End Riblets, and they have a, it says a bed of mashers, so there's just some mashed potato over here. So we're gonna get some of this. I think there's garlic, right? Yes, you could definitely smell the garlic. I mean, they taste like like regular mashed potatoes I make at home, because I love garlic. Garlic goes in everything. So, oh, this one's so nice and fatty. Mm. <laughs> there's a lot of cartilage in that one. Yeah, it has a lot of cartilage. Wait, there's, there's more. No, maybe not. Other than that, it, this is really good. Um, same thing with the barbecue sauce as the last one. It tastes like it's from a jar, but I mean, I think it's still good. These mashed potatoes, they're really good. I love mashed potatoes. Are you ready? Here comes the Fred Baron. The mashed potatoes are pretty good. Really garlicky, like that's nice. Yeah, they're very garlicky. Really garlicky. I'm really enjoying them. Let me go ahead and give this one a try. This one's much better. I think it's just a few little pieces that we got. 
It's really good. I got the uh, prime rib sandwich, I think. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with like, some kind of cheese on it. Um, and then it, they have the horseradish sauce on the side, so it probably doesn't get um, soggy. soggy. Yeah. So our buddy Patrick had these, and he said the horseradish was pretty strong. So I'm gonna go uh, very light with it. So let's take a bite of this. It looks good, but it looks very tender. Yeah, that so. meat looks really good. I don't like horseradish, so I'm gonna seal this little bit that's down here. It's pretty good. It's a lot of bread, though. I'll probably pull one of these bread pieces off. I think yeah. we had that same problem here with the sandwich we got before. Yeah. It is a lot of bread. And you um, just said it's a nothing special type bread. It's just bread. It is bread, yeah. Mm -hmm. The actual prime rib is really good. Mm -hmm. This is good. I don't regret getting it. It was good. We also got the pumpkin cider. What a brand did you say it was? I think it was Ace. Yes. So I love all the Ace uh, ciders. They're really good. This is really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did take a little sip because they filled it to the brim and we had to carry it, but I didn't really like, like taste it. It was a little rush. It's good. It's yeah. very spicy. Yeah. You can, it's funny because you can smell the pumpkin and the spices, yeah. but you don't really taste the pumpkin that much. No. You taste like very fall like flavors though. Yeah. It's very fall, it's good. It is, it's really delicious. Yeah, that's good. I might have to go find some in the store if they have that's any. Good. What is up everybody? Patrick back again with Destination Vacation Network. Coming here with the Pecan Pumpkin Spice Crumble Bar. Looks pretty good. It's a pretty decent size. It looks like a brownie um, or a, a coffee cake. Um, it looks like it might have some coconut in it as well as the pecans and that pumpkin spice crumble. Let's see. Mm. Very nice. It is cold. It is a very much a coffee cake uh, texture. With the crumble, it has that pumpkin pie taste to it. It has that nuttiness, that nutmeg that you expect, and the pumpkin spices that go with that. All in all, I'd give this like a solid nine out of 10. Amazing dessert. Good job, Knots. So we made a little pit stop at Dippin' Knots. My foaming bubbles are already all gone but I got the Hocus Pocus float. It's made with the orange Fanta and vanilla ice cream, I believe. So I'm a sucker for orange Fanta and Hocus Pocus. Mmm, this is good. This is a really good orange float. Is it? Mm-hmm. Does it put a spell on you? <laughs> <laughs> and now you're mine. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is really good. I'm loving this and I'm not sharing. <laughs> All right, so I had to get this cursed cannoli. It is pumpkin flavored. I am really looking forward to this. So um, it's probably a little hard to see. It's getting dark out here real quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get in this. All right, so all day we've been getting stuff that is pumpkin flavored and it hasn't really had a pumpkin flavor this tastes like freaking pumpkins guys it is really good as a sicilian i do know a couple things about um cannoli and i know it's really important for the shell to not be soggy and i will tell you that the bite i had from the bottom was not soggy so i'm very happy about that this is really good if you're gonna get a dessert out of everything i've tried so far that uh, whoopie pie looked really good, but this is, whew, this is good. To wash that cannoli down, I also got the full moon mint julep, so it is blueberry flavored. Um, it smells really good, but does it compare to Disney's mint juleps? Which, I mean, I guess, I don't know, because I don't really like them. I know that's blasphemy. This is pretty good. A hint of lemonade. And the blueberry flavor is really good. Not, I'm not getting a lot of mint though from mint julep. I'm not getting, I didn't get any mint. You can see the mint leaves floating in it, but I didn't get any mint. Still not getting the mint. I do really like this, um, but if you're expecting like an actual mint julep, I'm not getting any mint flavor, so maybe skip it. Okay. 
guys, we're almost at the end of our adventure. So I got the sweet dessert nachos. They are tortilla chips with some cinnamon and, no, not cinnamon, just sugar on there. And I believe that it has boysenberry flavoring. And then we have the boysenberry jam. Let's get a good amount of jam. Ooh, there's like a full boysenberry right in there. I'm excited. The jam is good. These chips, I don't know. I don't know about these chips, guys. Like, the flour taste. I don't know. They're not like the bonuelos or whatever they're called that I used to eat growing up. But, I mean, it's good. I think I was just expecting the chips to have more flavor to them. You get all the flavor in the jam. Oh. What is up, everybody? They let me stay for dessert. So I'm trying the Cookies and Scream Whoopie Pie here. Uh, it's a one-eyed, one-horn flying whoopie pie into my mouth. So here we go. Let's see. Oh, look at that, guys. Uh, that purple right there. That flourless cake, chocolate cake flavor with that creamy uh, cookies and cream Oreo cookiness in there. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I'm gonna go for a second bite. Thanks. These guys look so good at night. Look at this organ player. That is so cool. They did an awesome job at this, guys. Knots killing it. Something's gonna jump out and like scare me. Right. All right, so almost done, guys. We're almost done. We are at the booth right across from the Calico Fry Company, and we got their Mad Shirley Temple. There's some Sprite. There's some cherry. There's some grenadine. That's very refreshing. All right, guys, that's a wrap. It's a wrap. Happy Halloween. It was fun. Thank I had a blast. Yeah, thank you guys for joining <laughs> us on this trip. We had a really good time. Yes. We hung up with some friends. Yes. Patrick. We got to see Jonathan for like five minutes. <laughs> I don't know where you went, bro, but I hope you had a good time. Paul. Paul. We met this wonderful person that works here. Her name is Tina. Yeah. Uh, she shared some great stories with us. Yeah, very uh, proud to work here at Knox. Yes, so, yes. Shout out to all of the cast members here. Oh, definitely. Everybody did an awesome job. Thank you guys for uh, another great event. Yes. This is the third one we've been to. Mm -hmm. You know, we're here. They keep getting better and better. We're hearing a lot of rumors about a, a Christmas one yes. right around the corner. So, you know, if you haven't come yet, you got till November 1st. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys come. It's totally worth the money. Great food, great atmosphere. Definitely. The decorations are awesome. And honestly, <laughs> trick or treat. Go up Dude, there. Dude, it's spend only the eight, eight dollars. Spend the eight bucks. Go trick or treat. We had a blast. Yeah, you get at least like twelve pieces of candy. No, we probably got way more. more than that. There's eight spots. Some people gave us two bars. Some people gave us three. So yeah, we got a good yeah. amount of candy. It, it, it was just fun. It, it felt was, like being a kid. It was a good time. <laughs> so you know, make sure you guys come out. Um, if you've been here, you know, leave a comment and let us know what you like the best. I think for me, it was that pumpkin cannoli. The pumpkin cannoli was really oh, good. so good. Really, really good. I enjoyed the pastrami tater tots. Those were really good too. I could use a little less of the mustard on them, but they were still good. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I didn't really like was... The slider, the burger. The burger was yeah. really bad. Tiny little onion ring. That was, <laughs> that was a joke. Don't get that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. everything else was really good. Yeah, definitely. I wasn't too fond of the the riblets. Oh yeah, the I forgot about those. Riblets. They were I, I didn't they like were those all right. All. That's true. I think if it wasn't for the mashed potatoes, they would definitely be a no go. But mm. for the most part, yeah. everything was really delicious. Yeah. So come out, get some food, and let us know what your favorite was in the comments. Yes. So next time, guys. We'll see ya.